Hey, you. Uh, hey. Oh, man. Oh, God, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So, I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So... I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. A and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him! Yeah, he is... was my grandfather. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I... Uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously. I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're gonna help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. <sighs> Good night, Kathy. Oh, God, make it stop. Hey, everyone, it's Nolly J. Super fancy, uh, apparently. Let which me. Which Eileen loves to remind me of. Let me just grab this alarm right quickly. How annoying. It's like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. I'm so getting a new roommate. All right, where well, were I? Guess I guess I should get going. I'm <laughs> late enough as it is. It's Nolly J from High Latency, and we're looking at a new series this time round, Kathy Rain, The Director's Cut. Now, I have played Kathy Rain, uh, the original game, but not the director's cut, so I'm really curious to see what the differences are if there are many or if this is just a gimmick to make me pay for the game again but I'm totally here for it because this is a great game and it's a very uh you know full of nostalgia for me um all right so we have playing Kathy is a really cool motorbike chick but um okay can you just leave let's go all right we're on the road <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's so awesome. I wish I had the guts to be able to ride a motorbike around, but I am too chicken. <laughs> my dad rides a motorbike. Uh, Ugh, my brother does. Just my luck. My sister rides, has ridden a scooter in the past, but uh, yeah, no. Do you know why I pulled you over, ma'am? The voice acting is in this game is really good too. Um, all right. <clears throat> oh, okay. Let's let's maybe not have some attitude with the law right now. Uh, oh, you can't really not have attitude though. Look at these; these are all full of tude. Um, okay. It's got to be to compliment me on my driving, right? Trying to be a smart ass, ma'am. Nobody likes a smart ass. Do you know how fast you were going? Yes. And? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> a smart ass playing dumb. Aren't you just a perfect blend of obnoxious? I don't remember this in the original game, but maybe it's just because <laughs> I, I haven't so. played it for a while. <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry, officer. I'm in a huge hurry. I know to that you do talk to him later on. But... Miles. You know how it is. 
Well, what I do know is that the speed limit here is 65. I clocked you at 77. You're getting oh, a ticket. Boo. I hate getting Ooh. tickets. To the movies? I prefer horror flicks. Regular comedian, huh? Don't quit your day job. Seriously, whenever I get a parking ticket, I just go wild. I hate them. <laughs> Usually because I'm always trying to do the right thing. And then somehow over the years, I've managed to get a few parking tickets anyway. <clears throat> here we are well, at the cemetery. Here we are after a 40 minute drive and a harebrained speeding ticket. God, I really need a smoke. Does anyone object? Yes. <laughs> Guess not. Dead people rule. I I will say, like, I, lo I love a lot about Kathy. She, like, her hair, her her intelligence, her her wit, obviously her motorcycle, <laughs> but not the smoking part. I could I could live with that part, but you know it's the nineties. <clears throat> oh, is she gonna stop smoking? Do I have to stop her? Okay, well she thought, come on, let's let's go to this funeral. Say goodbye to old pops, grand pops. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord. I Jesus assume Christ, he's already in the hole because I don't see a body. Our frail bodies so that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Usually at these things, they have the body above the hole and then they lower it down for the ceremony. I mean, after the ceremony. Hmm. Oh, well, saved on animation, oh, Kathy, right? you big baby. Just talk to her. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? Have we met, Anne? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now finally coming home. Let's hope he can. Wherever he is. A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Oh, jeez. Goodness. We have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. We got a good memory for leaving at six. A chance to talk. Do you remember? <clears throat> See you in a bit. Do you remember where her uh, <clears throat> grandparents' house is? Conwell for six. Springs. I never thought I'd return to this place. All right. Well, I think that. Uh... Oh, hang on. Here's the priest. Do you talk to him? Let's see. You don't want to get me started. Let's just say me and the humble servants of God have a history of not getting along. I'm sorry for your loss. How dare you! <laughs> if you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to turn away from the path of sin. You're not familiar with the concept of a lost cause, are you? Look at a cheeky smile. That's where you're wrong, my child. 
Anyone with the will to change can be redeemed in God's eyes. Sure thing, buddy. You've convinced me. I'll put find redemption on my bucket list. I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. And that's the end of that. So it looks like I've got a new location. What is this? Bike selection. Oh, this is new. I don't remember this. Oh, that's so awesome. Looks like you can change or upgrade your bike. Oh, man, I'm here for that. Uh-huh, 100%. Well, it looks like the only place I can go, apart from back to the cemetery, is the old grandma's house. Um, Grandma, anybody home? But look, I might leave that there for now and um, we can get into exploring Grandma's house next time. Uh, I know it's pretty slow going at the moment, but trust me, uh, it does get a little more intriguing as the mysteries open up in Kathy Rain Director's Cut. Hey, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. You know you want to. <laughs> Nolly J out.